Texas. Paul, fire away. You're on the Savage Nation. Uh, I was just called to talk about NASA. Now, Go ahead quickly. Most... Tell us what's on your mind. It inspired me to get involved with engineering, and I've been doing it for over 40 years. Well, you yeah. see, you're one of the greatest generation in the country has ever seen. And when I see pictures of all of the NASA engineers who put that man on the moon, Neil Armstrong, I, tell you, I get chills up my spine. They sat in white shirts with short haircuts, smoking, if you can believe it, while working because it calmed their nerves. They didn't have big sister hanging over their head with workplace rules that destroyed the workplace itself. I love watching those old uh, videos of NASA in those days. But you have to understand that with Obama in the White House, we are going to see people inspired not to become engineers like yourself, but you're going to see millions of youngsters wanting to become communist community organizers. That's the important thing. Do you know how many young Americans now want to be like the president, communist community organizers? That's the good news. If this keeps up, why anything is possible, including the fact that we'll all be living in, in a future sort of Cuba. We could all be playing backgammon and driving 58, Bu driving 58 Buicks, which wouldn't be such a bad deal, actually. 58 was a good Buick, incidentally.